coffee break with me. Woo! Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. How are you today? Today, I am here with this tutorial. It's actually kind of like a half face tutorial because when I was doing my face, I was like, wait a second, why don't I just record it and let you guys see how I do all this ness on my face. We're kind of short of words right now. It's, it's kind of late. I'm a little tired, but uh, we all know that when I'm tired and delirious, we get pretty funny videos. So let's, let's hope. <laughs> anyway, so I just recently did a review on these palettes from the Sola Look, and you'll just have to watch the review so you'll know my thoughts. But I decided to film this tutorial as well because I knew you were going to ask me, and I'm actually really surprised with how it came out like almost like I want to pat myself on the back because I didn't think it was going to come out like that isn't that right <laughs> anyway so the solo look has two quads out right now this is the newest one and how pretty is that palette so when I got this palette I was like I need to put all of these colors on my face right now and I was having a hard time because I wasn't inspired. I couldn't, it wasn't that I wasn't inspired. I wanted to use all the colors, but I didn't know how to use them. And this just kind of was born. So I really hope you guys will like it. If you're interested in knowing more about the Sola look or about these palettes or the lipstick that I'm wearing, which is also from that brand, I will link and list all that stuff in the description box below. Cause I'll always take care of you guys. But if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching. Let's go ahead and get started. Do not mind the extra powder. I use a lot of powder to set my concealer and I just left it on so if I have any fallout, I could just sweep it off and I won't ruin my foundation. So let's go ahead and get started. I think I said that already, so let's just pretend I didn't say it twice. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my giant um, shader brush and I'm going to take a matte cream color, which by the way, these palettes are awesome, but they don't have any matte shades. So you're going to need a complimentary palette or something else in your stash, which don't lie to me, I know you have, uh, to, you know, get some matteness going on. I'm just taking a matte vanilla shade and I'm going to, or I'm applying it underneath my brow all the way down to the crease. Then, you guys, every single tutorial, I use the same exact brushes. Then I'm gonna take my giant fluffy blending brush from Sigma, and I'm gonna take the color Stephanie, and that is this beautiful, <laughs> I wanna call it the pumpkin shade, and that doesn't sound as interesting as like a burnt orange, ready for autumn. It kinda looks like a pumpkin. I'm gonna take that shade lightly, and that's going to be my transition shade. Um, these colors are so pigmented. You guys always laugh at me how I say pigmented. How, why do I say it wrong? You have to teach me how to say it because you guys always laugh at me. You say I say it like it's two different words. Pigmented, is that not? Anyway, so you have to be careful because these eyeshadows have a lot of color <laughs> and you could go from zero to drag really, really quick. So go very slowly, take your time. I kind of go back and forth, I would say maybe two or three times. I dip my brush in, I dust it off, and then I apply it, and then I go back and forth, back and forth. Then I'm going to take a synthetic brush. This is from Real Techniques, and I love this chubby brush because I can dip perfectly into a um, potted cream shadow without putting my finger in there, and it doesn't sink into the bristles. It doesn't dye the bristles or damage them or stain them or anything. So it's perfect for that. And I go in and I build up this blue color slowly or gradually because it's, it's kind of a difficult color to work with. I can totally understand why it got discontinued. This is the shade Electric Blue. I think I got it for like two dollars or something it was discontinued you could still uh, find it though I see it all the time at the drugstore and targets so I let it set a little bit and then I take the color Lisette that's this color right here <sighs> this color is so pretty it is blue it's like an electric cobalt blue navy hybrid but it has did I even show you guys was I even in frame but it has this beautiful like 
hot pink sparkle in it. I want to say it's hot pink, maybe it's red. It is stunning. And just take that and apply it all over the lid. And like I tell you guys in all my tutorials where I use really dark colors, take your time, build it up slowly. So I go in once and I start in the center and then I work my way towards the middle. Or I'm sorry, I work my way towards the edge and then I work my way towards the crease. You wanna move really slowly because this color is so pretty but it will ruin your makeup, especially if you're like me where you do your foundation first. Then I'm going to take a smaller blending brush. Look at that color, right? Isn't that beautiful? It's like, like a smurf at a rave just melted all over my eyelid. Then take a smaller blending brush and the color Alexa, that's this color right here, and that is going to go smack dab in the crease. Start here and work your way towards the middle. And again, we're going to gradually build the color. And we're also going to pull some of that blue so that it creates a almost like a gradient effect. If you guys see on this side, it almost turns purple. So it's a maroon color, but once you mix it together, it almost turns into like a purple shade. So just keep going until your blue is blended and you take this color, this red shade, Alexa, all the way as high as you want. I have a lot of space up here, so I mean, I could take it three stories up. <laughs> but if you don't, then just, you know, take a smaller brush. You could even use a pencil brush. When I started learning makeup, I used to use a pencil brush and I would apply the color exactly in the crease as an outer V like I would drop the color with the pencil brush and then I would go in with a plain blending brush, like a naked one, and then just blend it out or buff it out because I was still kind of, you know, shy as to where to put the color. Now let's move on to the lower lash line. First we're going to take the pumpkin color, Estefani, and that is going to go on a small shader brush like this one. And it's going to be, again, like a gradual buildup of shades just so that it's not a big difference. Like boom, blue all of a sudden, you know what I mean? Then I'm gonna take an eyeliner and these pencils from Sleek, they're called Ooh La La Liners are, I mean, look at this. You see that blue? It's in my waterline and it's not going anywhere. I'm going to take the blue one, I think it's called, what is it called, Blue Moon. I'm gonna put it in the waterline and I'm going to drag it down into the lash line. So you see I'm not being very careful. I'm being a little sloppy and that's okay because we're going to uh, smudge it anyway with the blue eyeshadow. Then take that same shader brush that we used with the blue, dip it into Lisette again, and that's going to smudge out the pencil and add the shadow at the same time. Then take another shader brush like this one. I think this is the same one I used for the orange color. And that's going to go into Alexa, the maroon. And we're going to apply that right below the blue. I use kind of a heavy hand, so wipe off your brush if you do that. And you see how it just, it turns purple. It's like magic. Are these magic eyeshadows? Tell me the truth. I think they're magic eyeshadows. They blend together so nicely. I think it's safe now to dust off all of that excess powder that I had from my concealer. Then I'm gonna take that same type of sleek pencil, the Ooh La La Liner, but this is in the shade Black. I think it's called Black. It's called Noir. The black one, and that's gonna go on the top uh, lash line. You know what I'm saying? The, what's this called? The tight line, the water line, the the top one. You thought we were done with eyeshadow, didn't you? Bam! There's another one. Are you ready for this? Look at this one. <gasps> Look at the size of these pans, first of all, right? Um, take a pencil brush. Don't stab yourself with it. That's a very important step. And you're going to take the color Natalia, which is this beautiful pearl color, and just the littlest bit, because we don't want to get harassed about over-highlighting, 
and that's gonna go in the inner corner and just a little bit usually I go overboard with the inner corner because I get mesmerized at how beautiful and sparkly it is and then I just keep going and going and going and going. I'm like the energizer bunny of highlighting my face basically now what I'm gonna do is do some mascara with this Maybelline Big Eyes why did I say mascara like that what's going on I think my coffee's kicking in because it's like 11 o'clock at night, but we're like, hey, let's have a party all by ourselves in this beauty room. So go ahead with some mascara. And then I'm going to put on these falsies from Mosquito. Look at that. Every time I put a pair of these on, I'm like, oh, I'm putting on Le Bouton on my eyeballs. Look at that. Aren't they beautiful? So our eyes are complete and I was about to finish getting ready and I was like, why don't I just film it? I never show you guys like the majority of my face or my whole face. It's very hard for me to do a full face tutorial because it would be like four hours long. And nobody got time for that. Now what I'm going to do is take this bronzer from Avon. It's real you guys. The love affair that I have with this bronzer is legit it's the um avon glow bronzing powder in light bronze this bronzing powder is legit like the perfect contour powder if you guys have probably complexion like mine maybe a little bit darker a little bit lighter it's just perfect oh man avon you guys got an a plus on this one now I'm going to go in with this blush that my best friend Befferoni gave me, and this is NARS Douceur. I think this is discontinued, and I'm scared to use it. I don't even know if it's going to match this look, but we're just going to roll with it. Let's pretend it does. It looks so pretty on Sam. I don't know if it looks pretty on me because... Did you see the hesitation? I don't know if it looks good on me because I don't have cool undertones. And this is one of those blushes that's like for the cooler ladies. But when has that ever stopped me? Never. And for highlighter, I'm going to go in with Natalia, the same shade that I use for the inner corner. Um, and I'm going to try and apply a decent acceptable. I'm going to try and apply a socially acceptable amount just for you guys. Last time I applied highlighter on camera, some people got really mad. Someone even said, your highlighter is pissing me off. <laughs> I was like, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but at least if my highlighter is the only thing that's pissing you off, it sounds like you might have a pretty good life, right? I could just wash it off at the end of the day and then and then we're good. I hope we can be friends again. <laughs> now let's move on to lips and I'm going to take um, MAC Lip Liner in Subculture and line my lips and fill them in the fill them in the majority. Does that make sense? Fill them in the majority? You know what I'm saying. After you filled them in the majority, <laughs> you're going to take, actually, I was looking at my um, Solo Look products and I haven't touched my lipsticks in a while. The Solo Look has, I think, six different lipsticks and they have two palettes. And I haven't touched my favorite, which is, which is Jessie. Oh, I love this color. I'm pretty sure it looks just like Frida, which is why I like it so much. And so I wanted like a nude base and then I'm going to apply this one on top so it's not so peach. It's a little bit more toned down. It's a little bit, it's kind of like a peachy pink. And I could just kind of want to simmer it down a little bit. And that's the completed look. What do you guys think? I'm kind of digging it. I sat down with zero inspiration. All I knew is that I wanted to use Lisette, which is this blue color. I was like, Danny, you need that color on your face. And I sat down and look at that. Isn't that beautiful? It's amazing what you can create with this palette. When you look at it, 
you know, at first glance, you're like, uh, pops of color. But look, I used three of the four shades in this col in this combo. Isn't that awesome? Kind of loving it. Super easy, right? I love to do air guns. Like, I think in my previous life, I was a cowboy girl. Whatever. Anyway, super easy tutorial. Like always, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. All of the details of this tutorial, the items that I use, will be listed in the description box below. Like always, including the review on these palettes, because let's be honest, you need them in your life. Okay, maybe not both. Maybe not both. But, I mean, look at how big they are. You guys know how big my eyes are, and look, they're bigger than my eyes. They're like super Kuropi size. Anyway, so if you guys wanted to see a review on these palettes, it will be listed in the description box below as well, if it's already watchable, probably. I try to organize my videos as much as I can, so I'll have it linked down below. If not, there'll be a date as to when you guys can see it. Um, and I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you found this video useful, entertaining, or learned something, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Coffee break is over.